back to my channel. Today we're going to do a spring 2022 um, trends. I know I should have done it um, <laughs> the beginning of spring. However, I know the end of spring is coming up. However, the reason I didn't do it is because I was in school. So now I'm doing it and pushing it out. So at least it's being pushed out during spring. First item I believe is going to be a hit during spring is platforms. I have platforms. I have, I think, a cheetah print one where it's cheetah print on the top, like where the strap is. And then the bottom, I think, is black. And then I have brown um, platforms. But you will see this trend in different colors. You might see them in bright colors. You might see them in neutral colors like brown black white any color you could think of any print you could think of you will see that in a platform shoes um then you will see different heights of platforms you might see small platform really 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 big platform steve madden has platform shoes um and it comes in different sizes of the chunk part so it'll be it could be very small or it could be very 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 big chunk um, it just depends on the platform because um, that is, I feel like that's the like 90s and the 2000s trend platforms. Um, number two will be grass green. Think of the color of grass and put that with clothing or shoes or accessories. So, for example, you might see grass green in skirts, pants grass green in crop tops or tops or bodysuits. Grass green, I've been seeing a lot of grass green colors in bodysuits. Um, I've been seeing it a lot in pants. I've been seeing it a lot in suits. I've been seeing it a lot in purses, um, even shoes, even shoes. Anything you could think of, you will see it, especially in accessories as well. I haven't seen it in necklaces or earrings, but who knows? There's statement earrings. You might see grass green um, in statement earrings colors too. But I haven't seen a lot of that, but I've seen it a lot in everything else that you could think of under the sun besides jewelry. Number three will be baby tees. The reason I say baby tees is because it's a 2000s trend and you know how every 10 years or so, fashion recycles so i've always said due to the fact that um we're in the 2000s era right now um baby tees will be making a big comeback baby tees will be coming in bright colors like hot pink royal blue even brown even white um baby tees will also be in different prints might be you might see a baby teen cheetah print. You might see a baby tea and the artsy type of prints that I've been seeing in my previous videos. You will also see baby tees with um graphic. So like graphic baby tees. That's what I meant to say. You will also see that as well because that was really, really big in the 2000s. So it would say have different sayings or different pictures on it just different things graphic that will be on the baby tee so keep a lookout for that one number four will be editorial prints when i say editorial prints think of a newspaper and what that a print on a newspaper you will put on clothing so um i've seen it in crop tops i've seen it in purses I've seen it not in shoes, <laughs> not in jewelry. I've seen it in bodysuits because I have an editorial bodysuit. Um, I've also seen it in pants and in skirts and in dresses. So that's what I'm saying. This is an interesting, um, if you're not really into prints, this might be a safe bet for you because it is black and white and it's not going to be too far off your comfort zone. So you won't feel that weird because everybody likes to wear black and white so having black and white as a print and that's the main editorial towards the editorial print 
you could definitely jump on this trend you would definitely like this trend because this trend will actually um be more your comfort zone if you're not into too much prints um five number five will be oversized glasses i think we're going back to 2000 the 2000s had a lot of um bold like big glasses because i remember wearing them a lot in the 2000s because i loved like because i have kind of like a round face so big glasses was something i gravitate to a lot however this is also a 70s trend because in the 70s a lot of people wear big bold oversized glasses um sunglasses so this is obviously a recycled trend and i had my oversized sunglasses in pink and brown and just different colors black too um so i think this would be a fun way to style up a basic outfit or just make an outfit pop um if you're one of those people that likes to wear earrings and don't like to wear makeup maybe that, that would be good for you um like early in the morning or just in general it could just dress up an outfit um but it is a 70s trend to me it is obviously 2000s as well but it is a 70s as well um six will be neon pink um or hot pink i more say hot pink be more gravitating towards hot pink due to the fact that everywhere you turn is hot pink um you see hot pinks in dresses skirts purses bag <laughs> purses and bags the same thing purses shoes um, even accessories now, like you see them in earrings, you see them in necklaces, you will see them in bracelets, you will see them in, what else, what else, just anything like sweats, you will see them in, cause right now we're in spring, so more like the pastel colors, the bright colors are starting to pop more, or starting, you could bring them out your closet little by little because hot pink or neon pink is here to stay i will i feel like we will even see this in the winter months and in the fall months so the colder months we would see hot pink but it'll be a different turn towards it because we've been having bright colors even during winter last year and it was when it hit winter it just was a different turn towards it um seven would be micro tops so i had to look up micro top tops because i was like is those crop super crop tops and yes they are um micro tops are basically crop tops but you see seen under <coughs> bless me <laughs> um you're seen under boobs so that's something you let me get my hand sanitizer <laughs> that is something you will see um a lot especially if you're a fashionista but you're a bold fashionista you will see that more in the spring and summer months if you're going to the beach maybe you can wear like a bikini underneath it and then the cropped um, micro top crop tops if you're going to a bar <laughs> i don't expect to see people wearing this at church I don't expect to see people wearing this this one i don't think this will be that much of a big trend because not everybody's comfortable showing their under boob like that i don't think we'll be seeing this trend too big like meaning i don't think we'll see this trend in um, let me think i don't think we we'll see this trend um to here to stay due to the fact that a lot of women aren't comfortable showing that body part off and your nipple might fall off or something so i don't think this is going to be a big trend but we for the moment for the spring month and the summer you might see some girls wearing it but in different colors um but personally i don't see this stand this trend staying um eight will be loafers i see loafers because we're in the spring summer months so we're putting away our little booties our boots and we're bringing out more of our sneakers, our wedges, our platforms, our, our sandals, like stuff that our feet feet could breathe in, you know? So 
we'll be seeing them in different colors, different patterns again. Um, I also predict we will see them in like bold colors, like hot pink, neon blue, brown, um, even red, just like yellow, just different, different colors. Next would be bucket bags. Um, I remember in the, uh, a few years ago, we had bucket hats. Now we have bucket bags. Um, I think that will be an interesting trend for the spring months. But in the summer, I think we'll go to mini bags maybe. I don't think bucket bags will be a big hit for um, summer. But for... Or crochet, crochet kind of like the wooden bags for the summer, but I don't see bucket bags being big for the spring. Ten would be metallics. I do see that stain here. Metallics with skirts, tops, uh, jewelry, purses. I think metallics will have a, di a interesting twist towards it, especially during the spring months. So that was 10. 11 would be super sheer. I've been seeing a lot of that. I've been seeing a lot of super sheer with dresses, skirts, tops, crop tops, long sleeve tops, um, body suits. That would be an interest. I've been seeing that a lot on websites like Princess Polly, Shein, um, Fashion Nova. That will be a big part because sheer was big in the, the 2000s, but super sheer, that's an interesting take on sheer clothing or yeah, on sheer clothing. So I would love to see how long this will last and how it'll play out because Princess Polly, Princess, um, Princess Polly, Pretty Little Thing, Forever 21, Fashion Nova, she and they all humped, hopped on that trend and i would love to see how they um make it more creative where would it go from here like the creative ways of having this trend last throughout the spring and summer months um 12 would be highlighter green we had highlighter pink we had highlighter blue highlighter yellow is an interesting one because we would, I think we will see this more on dresses, on skirts, on crop tops, and bodysuits. But I don't think it will be like, they will do high, highlighter pink and like a print. No, I just think it will be bold, like highlighter pink. Um, and, sorry, highlighter yellow. I'm sorry, you highlighter yellow. I think they will just use highlighter yellow. Um, and you can mix it maybe with like maybe blue. Um, baby blue I feel like you can mix and match highlighter pink yellow why I keep saying pink yellow with different colors so stay tuned to that I think that will last even towards summer months I think that would be going down throughout the spring and summer months um 13 will be underwear outerwear meaning you're wearing underwear out <laughs> so for um, 13, bralettes is one, bras is one. That will be a big play. I've, I've seen like bras with suits. I see bras with skirts. I see bras with shorts, bras with jeans, with a blazer. Um, that will be a big thing, for, especially for the summer months and the spring months. Spring and summer, I feel like that would be big because less clothing, the better, because obviously it's going to be hot. So, <laughs> 14 will be um, matching outfits. So, monochrome outfits, I think that's how you pronounce it. So, all white, all black, all nude, all brown, like stuff like that. I see that making a big statement due to the fact that that is a 2000s trend. So I could see people wearing that throughout the springs and summer months. And since we have revived the 2000s trend with a, um, with a modern twist, I could see that happening a lot. I could see a lot of people wearing it with suits, um, 
like blazer and a skirt or blazer and a pants or a top matching the skirt the same color or a top matching the same color pants this trend been out for a while and i see it happening even more um 15 will be pops of color so hot pink so you might have an all black outfit with a hot pink um purse or a pink top no i'm sorry a royal blue top with white pants and green shoes just an example or uh green earrings and all white outfit like it's just that pop of color that one pop of color that could successfully change your outfit and you see pop of color with jewelry um shirts crop tops body suits jeans pants skirts dresses um even accessories like purses shoes you will see that play a big factor in the spring and summer months especially if you want to jazz up an outfit and the last but not least that's in every spring trend is florals now i'm not saying the big florals but i think this would be more of like a smaller dose of florals um like the grunge 90s um florals i don't think it's gonna be the kind of like or maybe we'll see more days and stuff like that again a tribute to the 90s a little bit so i feel like that's what we'll see also i want to mention this top is actually a bodysuit and this was off of shein always check out shein shein always has cute stuff um thank you guys for watching my videos make sure to like comment subscribe tell your friends and family about my videos um just make sure to click that like button and turn on your notification buttons make sure to stay safe and have a beautiful and blessed weekend also i'm thinking of just posting videos on saturdays due to the fact that i'm busy throughout the week with work so i love you guys stay safe and have a blessed week i love you guys so much can't wait to see you in the next video bye